The City of Twelve Final Fantasy from Square Enix for the Sony PSP, a game that some will consider a masterpiece of game design that defies the status quo, and a game that others will consider fan service that's intentionally weird for the sake of being weird. I reside somewhere in between both of those statements. Because I appreciate the beauty of this game, it's gorgeous, but I also think you've really got to be into the Final Fantasy games to fully appreciate the storyline. But you don't have to be into the series to enjoy this game, you can just play for kicks and marvel at the amazing beauty of Dissidia 012. Sounds like a Van Halen album. Oh, you 812? The events in this game take place before the events in the first Dissidia Final Fantasy, which I did not play, but for those of you who are into the first game, I think you'll be able to see what changes have been made. There's new characters, a new assist system, and obviously a new plot. For those not familiar with the first game, Dissidia Final Fantasy XII, Doodecum, whatever they call this, is not the kind of game that you just jump into and start playing in five minutes. Clear your schedule and prepare to take some time to learn to play this game. It has one of the longest learning curves that I've seen in recent years from a video game. And the instruction manual is 39 pages all in English. And they don't even give you a notes section. There's two different modes of gameplay, an action mode and what they call the RPG mode, which is what I would recommend for beginners, because it essentially puts the battle sequences on autopilot, allowing you to make decisions like a strategy game and sit back to watch it and learn how it's played. Watching? We're watching me play the action mode here and I'm getting my ass thoroughly handed to me. Okay. End like this. And even though the game does a nice job attempting to get newcomers up to speed by showing some tutorial information in the top left hand corner of the screen and before each of the battles, I found myself enjoying it a lot more just playing in the RPG mode, which is what we're watching here with the same character, same level, and I'm going to win this battle because it simplifies things. You focus more on strategy, equipping your characters with abilities and new items while building their stats as you play the game two totally different ways to play the same game. Alright, when you see that little break thing happen, it's time to move in for the kill with a finishing move. But you've got to wait for just the right time because they're frequently very slow. So I'll tell my character to automatically move around the screen for a while and then finish the bad guy and let's collect some KP points and other stuff to buy new things. Who are you watching? I was going to say finally, but you've got to be careful how you use the word final in Final Fantasy. It never seems to be the end. As you might expect, there's a number of unlockable characters from the Final Fantasy universe. And the game has a variety of different gameplay modes, including storyline, battle mode, and communications mode, so you can play your human friends. Are you ready for this? We've been watching the storyline up to this point as you level your characters up and unlock new ones. You can then take those characters into the battle mode and play arcade mode or one-on-one -on -one battles, which is what I'm doing here. And you can gain experience in these things. In the storyline mode, you run around this world in the enigmatic storyline, playing a variety of battles that start off looking like a strategic turn-based combat game, but then explode into the beautiful Dissidia style. Admittedly, I think the game is a little weird, but I also think it's very cool. It's one that you have to take some time with to appreciate and get into. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your time and money. So you're sick of first-person shooters. Well, step into this world and find out how different video games can be. This review obviously comes to you from the newcomer's perspective. I really would recommend the RPG mode for those just starting out. 
watch and learn how the game is played before you actually try to manually take control of these characters. And prepare for a massive adventure through... through something. I'm still not sure what the hell this game is about. But it looks really cool, plays well on the PSP once you figure it out. It's Dissidia 12 Final Fantasy. Like this. I lost. 